Since the third season of The Witcher Netflix show is coming out this week, I want to go through the previous seasons and remind everybody how much they butchered the books. This was supposed to be one video, but it got so long that it would take too much time to edit and finish in time and I want to release at least some of this before the third season comes out, so I had to divide the sections into separate videos. We will start with casting. And let's get right into it. This will probably be an unpopular opinion, but bear with me. I always said that Henry Cavill isn't a good fit for Geralt. Now, don't get me wrong. I like Henry as a person a lot and respect him immensely for his integrity and respect he has for the books. But that has nothing to do with playing the role of Geralt and doesn't change the fact that he doesn't look like him at all. He is a hunk and a model, so too pretty looking for Geralt, who is described on several occasions as rather lanky and slim. When Milva saw his upper body while he was resting in Brokilon, she thought to herself that he looks like a proper man, albeit rather skinny and full of sinew. He should be unhealthy pale, and it's also described that his face generally makes people uncomfortable. He has an unpleasant voice and often uses ugly, malicious looking smile. So as you can see Henry Cavill is too pretty and also too buff to play him. It was ridiculous how yoked he looked in this scene with Triss. He looks more like Conan the Barbarian. And I think that most people don't have a problem with this because of how Geralt was portrayed by CD Projekt in The Witcher 3, which is the most popular thing Geralt appeared in. They unfortunately made his face too pretty and his body way too ripped as well. I didn't mind it as much with The Witcher 3 when it came out, although I was criticizing it as well at the time. Even though I would prefer a portrayal that's more accurate to the books, like in The Witcher 1 and 2, I didn't mind the look of Geralt in the Wild Hunt too much in the end, because he's in armor most of the time, so you can't really see how muscular he is. But the problem is that now it's affecting other media as well, and that's annoying. With Henry Cavill, it bothered me immediately, because you can see how huge he is even when he's fully dressed. He was a great fit for the role of Superman, because of his physique and his Boy Scout look. He has this large, almost square chin, which is great for Superman, but I think that Geralt should have sharper facial features and look more menacing. If anything, I would want to see Henry as the producer of the show, because that's the position where you need exactly this respectful attitude towards the books that he has. And if he would want to play a role in the show, he could pick some smaller part, like Foltest for example, who's described as too pretty looking, so it would be a great fit for Henry. But you can see how The Witcher 3 really influenced people's perception of Geralt, because when Henry left the Netflix show, who did they cast? Yet another hunk that's way too pretty and buff. By the way, I hate how people now say that no other actor can play Geralt because Henry embodies the role or whatever. What are you talking about? He doesn't look like Geralt at all. And a really good actor can sometimes get away with this. Michal Jabrowski also didn't look like Geralt at all, in my opinion, but he won me over eventually because of how well he played Geralt's conflicted character. And I just don't get what people see in Cavill's performance. The only thing he did with the role was that he did a Duck Cockle impression. But I guess that's enough for normies. And again, it's great that he loves the books, I'm all for that, but that doesn't make him Geralt. I know that people really want to see Matt Mikkelsen as Geralt, and I don't know, I think that he's way too old to play him. Maybe when he was younger I could see that, but personally I would like to see Zach McGowan play the part. I know that he's jacked too, which kind of defeats what I said about Henry just a moment ago, but Zach isn't as huge and he still looks athletic. He also has a pretty growly voice. Charles Vane of the Ranger. Are you as surprised as I am? And I'm the only one here behaving myself. And the most important thing is that he can look pretty menacing when he wants to. But let's move on to Yennefer. 
In my opinion, Anya Sholtra is way too young to play her. She looks like an older sister beside Freya Alan, which is not great when there should be this mother-daughter relationship between them. And yes, sorceresses should look like beautifully young girls, but I think that Yennefer should look like she has some life experience, while still looking somewhat young, so at least 30 to 35, even 40 would be fine in my opinion. I know that people really want to see Eva Green as Yennefer, and until recently I just didn't like that. I thought that it's too obvious, or I don't know. I just pictured Yennefer differently. But when I saw someone mention it online recently, I said to myself, you know what, why not? She would still be better than Anya Shalotra, and it's actually not a bad pick. I always thought that Mamie McCoy, who played Milady de Winter in the BBC's The Musketeers show, would look great as Yennefer. And it's funny that Eva Green is playing the same role in the latest adaptation of Three Musketeers. Let's talk about Siri though. Since the first pictures of Siri from the show were released, I said that Freya Alan is way too old to play her. Siri was supposed to be 10 when they met with Geralt for the first time in Brokilon. When the first pictures of Siri were released, I was immediately saying that I just can't picture her in the Brokilon scene where she begs Geralt to tell her a fairy tale and he tells her and Brian the tale about a cat. Now we of course know that Netflix left out this touching moment completely. But then there's also for example the scene where Triss is scolding the witchers at Kermorhan because Ciri had her first period there and they didn't even know about it. How do you expect me to buy that with a 20 year old actress? And of course they just skimmed over this in the show and didn't adapt it properly. But just so you know, Ciri is supposed to be like 13 when she's leaving Kaer Morhen and going to the temple of Melitela with Geralt and Triss, which would make sense considering the scene where they mentioned her first period. So Freya Alan was already 7 years older in the second season, and at first people didn't mind this, and when I was complaining about it, they told me that it isn't such a big deal. It's true that she looked young at first, and I also think that most people only knew Siri as the already grown-up adult girl from The Witcher 3, so they didn't care that much. But as the shooting of the show takes probably longer than expected and people are finally reading the books, they are starting to notice the age difference and I see some people online finally complain about it too. Siri is apparently 21 in the games and Freya Alan will be 22 in a few months, so she's already getting older than the oldest that we've seen Siri. And I'm really curious how old Freya Alan will get before the show is over. Siri is supposed to be around 17 at the end of the books, so even younger than Freya Alan was in the first season. Isn't that crazy? And when I was criticizing this back in the day, people told me that it's because child actors are really hard to work with. But that's such a bullshit excuse. There have been so many child actors like in Harry Potter or Game of Thrones, and they grew up with these projects as they should have according to the source material. So it can be done if you really want to. And I know that it was really bad when it comes to writing, but I think that young Leia from the Obi-Wan Kenobi show was great and almost exactly the age that Ciri is supposed to be when she meets Geralt for the first time. So here you have an example that you can make it work, even with a child actress, if you really want to. The whole point of Ciri's character is that she's just a naive child who doesn't know anything about the cruelty of the world outside of the court at the beginning of the story and she slowly gets disillusioned over time because of the awful experiences she goes through and because of all the suffering she becomes this heartless killer at first but then matures and becomes wiser at the end of the books starting from the point when she meets Visigotha and moving forward. And I'm just not buying that a 19 year old is still as naive as Ciri is in Blood of Elves or Time of Contempt. But let's talk about other characters and I'll be quick here. I don't think I need to go over Triss because that has been talked to death, but yeah, it's really bad. Then there's Calante and nothing against the actress who played her in the show but she just doesn't fit a role of a queen who is described as still stunning for her age. I picture Calante like Charlie Theron in The Snow White and the Huntsman. Now that's a MILF. Next one is Foltest. They made him old, ugly and sweaty. 
even though he's described as being too pretty and also having a noble profile in the books. I think that they deliberately made him look repulsive because he had an incestuous relationship with his sister. Borg looks too old as well. I don't understand how anyone can screw up the casting so much and with so many characters which are described completely differently in the books. And then there are all the diversity hires like Fringilla, Margarita Loxantil, Milva, Mistel and so on. I don't want to get too much into this because the discussion about it gets always so toxic no matter what you say, but I just think it's really lame. There are probably even more characters that Netflix miscasted, but I think you get my point. The casting just sucks. So that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you think about the casting and who would you want to see in a better adaptation of The Witcher. In the next video I want to talk about how Netflix butchered characters with their awful writing. So if that's something that would interest you and you are new here, subscribe so you won't miss it. See you in another video.